Jonesy Babes and Anonymous Jonesy Babes. Welcome back to my channel. So we have some Diddy updates, so let's talk about it. A witness testifying before the grand jury in Diddy's trial claims he has videos of major celebrities being victimized at the hip-hop mogul's notorious freak-off parties. Now, Courtney Burgess testified before the grand jury on Thursday about the tapes, which he says come from a flash drive kept by Diddy's ex, Kim Porter. The tapes are said to show at least two male stars who were underage at the time. It's unclear if Burgess provided the videos to the grand jury or whether he simply told the jury about them. He joined News Nation's Banfield on Thursday night to describe some of what the footage shows, claiming all of the stars featured appear to be under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Now, Courtney Burgess, who says he was friends with Diddy, claims all of them were also victimized. He did not name any of the celebrities said to be in the videos. Burgess claims the videos were taken by cameras in Diddy's homes that were not always obvious to those in the room. He maintains that he was given the flash drive containing the videos by a friend. His friend had obtained them from Porter. It remains unclear if he has handed the tapes over to the authorities. Well, we'll know if he did or not. Courtney Burgess says he was friends with Diddy for 35 years, once loving him like a brother. Now he sees him as the devil. At the time, I guess he was ambitious. Then from ambitious, he went to doing anything. And then he, from doing anything to didn't care about nobody who he couldn't beat, excuse me, who he could beat, Burgess told Benfield. And then he ended up turning into Lucifer, honey. And today I'm looking at him. I know you all call him Diddy or Puffy, but I call him Lucifer. <laughs> God have mercy. Lucifer, oh Lucifer. But anyway, Diddy is in jail awaiting trial on sex trafficking and racketeering charges. He denies all of the allegations, insisting he is being unfairly targeted. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think this guy, Courtney Burgess, have, you know, have these tapes, these files? I would love to see them. But I guess we're going to have to wait until the trial. He better have something because I hope he's not telling a lie. He better have something. But anyway, I would love to know your thoughts and opinions about this kind of stuff. Let me know in the comment section. And before I leave, let's talk about Sean Diddy's little boys, okay? Trying to fight Ray J. They need to go sit down somewhere and fast. Because um, I think one of them also have something against them. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. I heard about that. But anyway, I don't understand why they're trying to fight Ray J. He's not the only one that's sensing about their father. And as far as Quincy is concerned, Quincy, that's not your real dad. I understand he took care of you. And I think he adopted him. I'm not sure, but I think he adopted him. So he took care of him. But aren't you curious on how your mother really passed away? And then your real father, which is Al B. Shore, he was almost out of here. But I'm so glad that he's doing much better. And he's always voiced his opinion about Diddy. So I think Quincy needs to really like take a step back and look with, at the things that's going on. Okay, he he needs to do that because he shares a mom with Christian and the twins. He doesn't share a mom with Justin, but he shares a dad with Justin. You get what I'm saying? Puffy got a lot of kids by different women. So that's that. But anyway... But anyway, let me know in the comment section, how do you guys feel about all this stuff? There's always something going on in Diddy's world. <sighs> but 
Mm -mm -mm. If I find out anything else, I'll let you guys know. Until then, I'll talk to you later.